everyone, so good morning and welcome to weekly vlog 9 I think, I can't believe I've actually kept it going, like this is an achievement. Um, yeah, today is the day, I'll go on holiday, I'll go for like a week's break. Um, I was kind of panicking this morning because, um, actually panicking over the weekend because I've been obviously um, speaking with Sophie and they've all come down with some sort of like neuro bug. Sophie was ill on Friday, then it was Lily, and then Rob's just not well today. So it's best that um, Sophie obviously doesn't come because she doesn't really want to bring that to us and she doesn't want to bring it to the holiday camp that we're going to. So I was panicking, thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be going on holiday, just me and Vi. Like, I can't find anyone else to, you know, bring with me. Like, most of my friends have children that are at school. And obviously, it's not half term, so I can't take Alistair out of school. Um, we're actually going to Bluestone, Wales. I don't think I've mentioned that, but we are actually going there. Um, so we're travelling to Wales today, which I'm really excited about. Um, and thankfully, my friend Millie has agreed to come with us. So I'm so happy. It's, she's kind of the perfect number as well, because I've got space for an adult, a child and infant, and she has that as well. So yeah she's just an absolute lifesaver because honestly i probably would have gone just me and vi um you know just a little mini break for us but i'm so pleased i'm not going on my own and it won't sort of drive me loopy speaking to myself so um yeah so we're heading there today and i'm very excited i'm very unsure about the weather though i'm not i keep checking the weather forecast it looks dry for the week which is good but anything can change, obviously. So I've just been packing up, really, um, this morning. I did school run, and I said goodbye to Alistair, and oh, I feel so bad. I don't know why. Like, Graham's like, he's going to be fine. He is not bothered one bit. We've told him where we're going, and I told him I won't be seeing him till Friday. He keeps on about his Marwell trip. He's got a Marwell trip coming on Wednesday with the school. So, um, yeah, he's totally happy, you know. Um, but I just feel slightly guilty, obviously, because I've, I've actually never left him no more than two nights. The longest was when we went to Paris. So, yeah, for Monday. I'll be back on Friday, though. I've seen him today, and I'll be back on Friday. I'll probably be back, try and be back to pick him up from school. So, yeah. Um, but they're going to have really good, I think, like, bonding time together. I think it'd be really nice for, like, father-son time. They don't get it enough, I don't think, so... Yeah, it'd probably be good for Graham and Alistair anyway to get some like quality time together, like fitting in. Speak of the devil coming in. Oh yeah, just been finishing up the last of the packing. Try not to overpack, I'm so bad. But the only good thing is, is that we're going in two cars. So I'll be going in my car, which is the Sportage still. So I've got the big car just for me and Vi. So I've got plenty of room. Um, and this is how far I've got. So I've got a suitcase packed for me and Vi. She's got one half, I've got the other. Um, she's insisting on taking uh, this dog, which is quite annoying and makes lots of noises, but I'm sure Bryony will probably like that one. Um, I've got a whole load of like chargers and there's like my cosmetics in there basically, that basically stuff that won't fit in the, the suitcase. And um, this is one of the, I've used the packing pods actually, the ones that I showed you from China. And yeah, this is one that was left over. And I've used that for Violet's sort of stuff, books, DVDs, colouring stuff. She's, yeah, she's gone a bit cray cray and filled up with different stuff. She also wants to take her little handbag, which is totally fine. She's got her pennies in there and her sunglasses and some animals, stray animals. I've got my uh, laptop. Obviously, I'm taking my cameras. And, um, yeah, so I think I'm pretty much all together with packing. Um, we're not actually leaving till lunchtime because we can't check in till half four. So there's no point getting there too early because I'd rather... Because it's, you know, it's a good about four hours from me. So I say four hours. It could take longer. I might have to take a break. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I need the pee all the time. So I might, might end up having like a loo break halfway through. Just depends really. So it probably take over that anyway. Um, so it's a long journey and I'd rather just like park get there park and just go to the the lodge we're staying in like a three bedroom two-story lodge which looks absolutely amazing i'm so excited um 
yeah, it reminds me uh, like a Welsh, a Welsh version of Centre Parks. If anyone's ever been to Centre Parks, that's what it reminds me of looking online. Um, it's like all uh, forestry and it's just rural and it's just very me. It's that sort of, oh, it just looks, looks bliss, honestly. And they have a spa. Um, not that I could really use that with Vi, but you never know. We could work something out, like I look after her two kids and then she looks after Vi. You never know. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'd rather just drive there and just head straight to the lodge instead of like, because you can use the facilities like early, you can get there early and use the facilities before you check in. But I'd rather just relax because I know with the long journey I'll probably be totally drained. So yeah, that's the plan anyway. So I'm leaving at lunchtime. Um, I've got to go to the post office. I've sold a few of Violet's dresses, so I need to post them off. Otherwise, it's go they're going to be like not posted till the week. Monday, so yeah. Bye. Oh, are you going to take that with you? Yeah. Are you excited for a holiday? Are you? Who are we going with? Riley. Yeah, are you excited? And who else? Austin. Yeah. Yeah, we've got your pennies. I've laid out uniform. A, a uniform every single day for um, Alistair just to make life easier for Graham. Um, obviously he's wearing Mondays today so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Aren't I a good wife getting everything done? I really want to hoover before I go as well because it's really bitty. Although I should probably make Graham do that bit I think. <laughs> and I forgot to say I hope everyone had a really good Mother's Day. Um, yeah it was Mother's Day yesterday and we had a really good day. Oh, I had a really good day. We just met up with all my family. There was 14 of us that went out for a roast. And it was just lovely. It was utter chaos and manic, but I just loved it. And there was eight children all together, and it was just really, really fun. So, yeah, and the kids. Um, Mother-in-law, actually, because the kids were obviously at mother-in-law Saturday night, so they came back home in the morning on Sunday. And they came up, and they turned up with um, little floral arrangements that they'd done themselves so I think that one's Alistair's and I thought it was just beautiful what my mother-in-law because she's like um, a teacher for like florist teacher um, and what she does she cuts the stems down obviously and then she lets them just thread it into one of the blocks um, so yeah that one was Alistair's and then Violet did one over here which I put over here didn't you Vi you did this one so look how gorgeous they look. So that's what I got for Mother's Day. So I need to bag up our wellies to take with us and I need to put some screen wash in my car because it needs it badly, I don't have any. Okay, so it's nearly 12 o'clock and we are headed on our way. I need to get petrol anyway and um, yeah. So it looks so overcast. Are you excited? Are you excited? We all packed up, we've got everything including this kitchen sink. Eggs, fresh eggs, they're actually still warm, which is a bit weird. But yeah, it's really overcast today. It's horrible, actually. Um, let's hope Wales so is better. I, got... Going over the bridge. And it's raining. Toll time. I'm officially in Wales. Me and Violet. just had a quick pit stop I needed a wee and I really fancied a coffee and I spotted a Starbucks services so I was like we need to go there um, so we've got an hour, hour and 40 minutes until we get to the destination we're actually meeting at Morrison's first so we can do a quick food shop and then head to the lodge I messaged Millie and she's actually gone past me so yeah she did have an, an hour less than me anyway so Oh, I'm knackered though, I'm honestly knackered. It's 20 to 3, so I'm going to get to where I'm supposed to get um, not till 25 past 4, which is a little bit later than I wanted. But it's just what happens, I suppose. And with these variable speed limits, I'm not used to them. We don't really have those where we live, so it's just really weird, like knowing, like, it kind of has camera signs and stuff, and I'm worried that I'm going too fast, or you know, you're not going fast enough, you know. So, Mommy, yeah. What are you doing? You're whistling? Ooh. Yeah, right hand. Violet pretty much slept most of the way, all the way here actually. Haven't you? You had a good long nap and she's had, what did you have? You had a bicky? Yeah? You've still got your bickies. She insisted she wanted these two little shortbread biscuits from Starbucks. One pounds twenty. I was like, bloody hell. <laughs> 
could have put the whole Mommy, I'm massive gonna packet. Eat my pennies for you. Mm, yeah. Wait, no, you can keep your pennies for something nice, not just biscuits, by all right. Okay, so we go. Should we head oh, on? This is he everyone. So sorry about my very short vlog yesterday, but obviously traveling and trying to find this place. We went food shopping as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, I totally, we totally, totally drained. Super. Yeah, you were, weren't you? You were having lots of fun in the supermarket, weren't you? Yeah. So, yeah, it's just me and Violet. Out. And it's make me <coughs> really tired. Yeah. So, everybody else is still asleep. So, me and Violet are the first to be up. Um, it's half past seven. And, um, yeah, it's so nice. It's absolutely lovely. Um... I'm just so tired though. We didn't go to we didn't get the kids in bed till about half eight nine because we were just so delayed with making dinner and the rest of it. But yeah, I'll give you a quick overview. This is the Gate Home Lodge, um, which means that it's an upside down lodge. So we've got the living space upstairs and the rooms um, downstairs. So it's all open plan. Upside down? Yeah, it's upside down because we've got this is upstairs, so we've got the sofas, dining area. We've obviously used it all already. <laughs> it's not as clean as it was. You can see some of the other lodges through there. Um that's one of the ones that's just one level, but we're in like one like this. That's all our selection of treats. <laughs> um yeah, this, this comes equipped with absolutely everything. Um, high chair. <clears throat> it comes with um, travel carts. I'll show you the rooms once everyone's awake. But yeah, I don't know what we're going to do today. I think we're probably just going to go explore and see what there is to do. There's loads of stuff here, like swimming. There's a big, massive um, blue lagoon swimming centre with like flumes and that sort of thing. Um, there's big soft plays, there's parks, shops. So yeah, it'd be good to explore once everyone's awake. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too hard to find actually. And it's funny because I actually, I said earlier that Millie passed me and she did. And then I ended up passing her. So she was behind me. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know how. But yeah, so we ended up meeting each other on the way here anyway, and then follow, um, I followed her to Morrison's, done the quick food shop. So yeah, the kids went to bed perfectly. They were just so good. I can't believe how all of them have behaved. They've just been amazing, like car journey and everything. Um, Violet was fine, weren't you, Vi? You were such a good girl in the car. Look at your bird's nest. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've come well equipped with toys. Of course, we brought the dog. Got my laptop so I can publish videos. And um, yeah, bye. Bye. Are you having a good holiday so far? So anyway, I'll probably see you in a bit. Um, yeah. Best breakfast. That looks amazing, doesn't it? Well done! It's really low. Yeah, it's like a hammock. I've got a now. Come on then! Whee! Whee! Well done! <laughs> Well, that's one way to get out. Come on, let's go explore. Hi, everyone. So, I have got Millie with me. Hi, I was basically been vlogging on my own. 
this? So, yeah, there's, there's Minnie here. There. She's oh, here, yeah. she's hiding, I'm she's finally, in bed. Finally so, emerged. Yeah, yeah, so we are exploring the activities. Nova, I come this way. Oh, like wine store, Newton Village stores. Cute pink house. <laughs> oh, what's that? Is that like a restaurant or something? <laughs> Coffee shop, patisserie. That sounds good to me. Vending machine milk. 180. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. I know for the adventure, adventure what? Adventure park, adventure activity centre place. We just walked up the hill, knackered, all of us are knackered. Brian totally knackered. <laughs> you okay? Violet well, got carried halfway, she's lazy. So yeah, I'm gonna push. find the soft play and see what's push. going on. Push. But yeah, really, really nice, it's just um, hilly. Yeah, people have got electric buggies, which are probably yeah, which are probably quite a good idea actually, but expensive. Expensive, yeah. They're about eighty pounds for the midweek. It's not worth it, I don't think. But then you can see why people do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you've got a whole family, yeah, then yeah, and you know, yeah, if you're doing, if you're here for a full week and you've got a whole family to carry, but that's what we got legs for. That is somewhere we'd go if we didn't have any children. Sounds amazing. We made it. Wildwood Cafe. Ooh, this looks nice. Yeah, look. Look the little tree. Come then. There's a games room. That looks quite good. Yeah, mini golf. <gasps> Whoa, it's huge. Look. Oh, it's crazy. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. I can't believe how big it is. Bouncy Castle. Okay. Go on then. Wow, that's ginormous! Blue <laughs> stone. Climbing wall. It's amazing. High ropes. We have found a coffee place. The kids are actually gone off. I don't know where they've gone, but... We've got cake and Ooh. coffees and we're hydrated and sugared up, which is good. Um, Bryony's just woke up from a nap. Oh. Little chunky. Oh, yeah. And I don't know where the other two are. They're just playing in this huge park somewhere. Yeah, having a good time. It's really nice here. It's really, it's really quiet as well. Really quite um, not busy, which is nice. Just going to find them. <laughs> I'm on the wobbly bit, the wobbly bridge. Woo! Not too cool. Let's go again. Oh, it's too yellow. Yeah. It's good, I isn't it? It's really Ooh. nice. Yeah. Oh, Such a cute little play area, isn't it? This bit. Wait, oh, 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 oh. Enjoying the soft plate, although it's absolutely freezing in this place. I don't know why, it's really cold. Are you having fun? What's this? Yeah. Yes. Let's have a look. Whoa, that is very cool. Get the bum. Get the bum. Hey. Morning, everyone. So it is Wednesday, and we 
have been up for a few hours um, and we're headed to Foley Farm today which is supposed to be a really good like farm zoo activity centre locally it's like 10 minutes away from where we are um, in Pembrokeshire so yeah we're headed there today and um, yeah the kids are all right the girls are all right the, girls are right. the boys are the boy, not so good the boy is slightly he's a upset bit sensitive. yeah he's a little bit sensitive today I think he might be a bit tired or hungry apparently he's hungry even though he's well, pretty much yeah he's pretty much eating us out of the house <laughs> the one boy that we've got so um yeah bless him but I'm sure he'll perk up a bit once we get there so yeah we're just walking up the little trail to the car park just gotta go back to the car and um yeah it should be a good day it's absolutely beautiful it's really quite warm actually oh my god where are we going <laughs> have to go down there I think come on then pretty girl don't you look pretty in your bunny dress? Are you filthy already? What have you got in your hair? What is that? A bow! Well yeah, other than the bow, you've got something here. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Come on. Here. Foley Farm. I'm excited, bye. It's going to be fun. <laughs> kind of got stuck. That's so nice. I can't believe how warm it is. Hey. Hey. You okay? Ooh, that's one way to get down, Violet. God. You get a wedgie now. Did buy. It's really cool. Diggers. Oh, the sand is a bit hard, isn't it? It's a bit wet. Yep. Get all the sand. Oh dear. You should be in a drive. Is it good? There's no spades. There's no spades. There. Yeah, this one, the red one. Ah. Ooh. The best buy. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does smell like home. Yeah, I totally agree. It smells, it smells wonderful. <laughs> oh, look at the horses. Oh my goodness! Look at the pigs! Piggy! Oh, look at the lambies! Aren't they different looking? We have different ones to these, don't we? They look very different. Do they? Look at their tails. <laughs> like, get off me! Oh my goodness, giant bunnies! Look how cool they are, and they're huge. Hey, donkey. Aww. Hello. Hey, lovely. Who's stroking him? Or her? It's me, Bob. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, do some milking. Go, go do some milking. You milking the cow? Oh, Violet, you natural. Hello. Watch your fingers, yeah? There we go, isn't it gorgeous? Hello. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Big pirate ship. <coughs> you got them very simple. Look 
the lions. Wow. Oh, wow. Got just hang on a minute. Let me just get some photos. Oh, look. Oh. Some baby. Oh yeah, you have that stretch. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's he eating? Who are you? I like long top lip. <laughs> <laughs> Licking. Mm. Yeah, my. Your long legs. It's mental how big they are. Mm -hmm. Enjoying the giraffes and zebras. <laughs> Bye -bye. How gorgeous they are. Well, it's pretty grumpy though. Bye. We're taking it in turns today. Yeah, I think she's um, really tired and she's just. I think she may be coming down with something, which is not good. She's got a cough and a bit of a cold. Typical, hey? Especially when the weather's so good as well. Millie's just taking Austin for a wee. We're just having a little snack break. Um, yeah, just sat in front of the giraffes. So pretty. You have been doing lots of walking. You've been very, very good, haven't you? Yeah. Slightly tired now. It's about half one, I think. We've been here since about half ten, so we've been here a long time. We've already had lunch. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. It's so big. It's it's massive. Like for the amount, like how reasonable it's to get in here. You actually have so much. You saw those amazing lions, and it's so quiet. I suppose where it's not. Every kid's at school, really, so it's all the young kids, young children here. It's just so peaceful. And yeah, we've been so lucky with the weather. I keep looking at the sky thinking, oh my god, is it going to rain? But it's not. It's so nice. It's actually really um, quite blinding. I can barely see, actually. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. Really nice. It's still more to see as well. Oh. Look at him waddling. Oh. <laughs> Looks so clear, the water as well. <laughs> wow. Hi everyone, so we have come back to Bluestone. Um, we had an amazing day at Foley Farm. It's half past, well it's actually 25 to 4 now. Um, I've been sat in the car for about half an hour because Violet actually fell asleep. Um, and I think I said earlier she slightly felt like she's been a bit under the weather today. She's been very whiny and not herself. So I thought it'd be good for her to have you know a little power nap. So I'm going to wake her up in a minute and head back to the lodge. Um, but yeah, Millie and the kids have gone back to the lodge and we'll probably just have a cosy night in, I think, which is well needed. We did, we have done a lot of walking today and the kids have been really good. Um, and the weather's been amazing. It's been so sunny and so warm, but I think we're all pretty tired. I really fancy a nice cup of tea or coffee just to warm up. Um, I would definitely recommend Foley Farm though. I was really really impressed by how much there actually is there for the kids and there's a lot of restoration going on they're, they're renovating a few bits they're adding in apparently rhinos and flamingos um, by summertime so yeah there was quite a lot of building work going on but I suppose they've got to kind of do it before summer sort of starts oh and I just spoke to Alistair and Graham um, Alistair went on his school trip today and he said it was really really fun so that's good he's been a really good boy he went fishing with Graham last night as well, so they've been having a really good time together and yeah, Graham says he's been good as gold and he's such a good boy anyway. But um, he was like, are you coming home now, mummy? I was like, oh, I'm not coming home just yet. Um, I think Millie's actually leaving tomorrow evening, she's going to drive back in the evening and I think um, we have to check out anyway at 
on Friday at 10 a.m. So I'll probably just go home straight from there. I'd rather drive in the morning than the evening, personally. I find a bit... it. I'm not, I'm not really used to driving at night, so I think I'd feel better just to get it done in the morning and be home for Alistair for pick-up at 3. Um, but, yeah, it was lovely to speak to him. And, yeah, they seem to be having a great time, which is really nice. I definitely miss them, though. Um, but I suppose that's just the way it is when you're away from home. I love getting away and I love being busy and exploring, but it's always nice to come home, I must admit. I'm such a home bird, like, oh, I, I, must, I can't wait to get back to my kitchen. I love my kitchen because I just live in it practically. Um, but yeah, I wonder what, how much housework Graham has done. That does um, worry me when I get home. He'll probably have a big clear up. When I text him to say I'm leaving, he will literally have a big clear up probably on Friday because that's what he's like. He's kind of that last minute kind of person, which I don't mind as long as it gets done. That's all that matters, right? But yeah, I am looking forward to going home. But tomorrow we're going to go swimming, so that'd be really fun because I think Violet really wants to go swimming. Um, I don't take her very often, so it'd be nice to see what this place is like. It's called Blue Lagoon as well. But yeah, it does actually depend on whether she's well enough because there's no point taking her if she's feeling really under the weather. Everyone, so today is basically our last day. We're heading to, where are we going, Fi? Where are we going? She's just had a mini meltdown. I don't know why. I think it might be just the walking. There's a lot of walking. She just doesn't like it. She's lazy. She's a lazy child. Um, we're heading to the Blue Lagoon, which is their big, like, splash water park. Not water park, it's like a, just a swimming pool with loads of flumes and stuff. So, yeah, we haven't been there yet and we don't even know what it looks like. So, it'd be nice to go there and do some swimming. Me and Violet really don't get to go swimming, so it'd be really nice. Lily has actually gone off to Tenby, which is um, apparently it's like the beach, it's basically the seaside. And she's been, she used to go there as a child and she hasn't been there since or, or a long time. So, she's taking the kids there and it's just generally, I suppose, easier for her with having two small children to take swimming. It's just yeah, it would probably be quite stressful, so um, I said, yeah, go ahead, you know, you're not, we're not in Wales ever, so um, yeah, she's doing that with the kids today, so I think that would be nice for her, and it's a gorgeous day, it's absolutely beautiful, we've had such good weather, so um, yeah, it'll be, be good, it'll be a good day, and she's coming back um, sort of early afternoon, and we're going to have dinner out, which will be nice. So yeah, it should be a good day and I'm looking forward to going swimming. It's been such a long time, like honestly. Probably since like some time, last time I went swimming. Um, so hopefully Violet cheers up a bit. You okay? She's looking very beachy today. She could easily go to the beach, couldn't you? With your little stripy skirt, yeah? You okay? Oh, that is, it looks like a roller coaster. That's the flumes. A successful swimming trip at um, the Blue Lagoon which was good it wasn't as good as I expected I don't know why I expected more like slides for the little ones but um, yeah it kind of felt slightly old as well I suppose a little bit tired but I suppose most swimming pools are very much like that um, but you enjoyed yourself didn't you bye we just uh, went to the fish shack which is basically inside the Blue Lagoon, it's like a little restaurant. They're not serving hot food or anything until 12. I think it's about quarter to 12, so I've got, I just got a coffee and I actually got a Kit Kat Chunky which I haven't had in years. And Violet's got some messy, messy Watsits, haven't you? Yeah, she never has those and yeah, they are so messy. So she's all orange. and. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have a walk back to the village now and just have a have a look. I said to Millie that I was going to book us in because we're going to eat out tonight. And we're going to I'm going to book us in to have dinner at like five at the farmhouse grill. See how that is. It kind of looks like really nice pub pub sort of food. Not too um, pricey because the the place opposite is more like fine dining and the prices are ridiculous. Um, you finished? We'll put it in your pocket then, please. So um. Yeah, and then we'll probably, I'll probably let Vi play. All right. I'll probably let Vi play in the park as well because it's such a nice day. Burn off some energy and then we'll probably have some lunch somewhere or, I don't know. We'll, we'll definitely find something else to do and have a browse around. 
is um, tagging lambs today, which apparently is very, you know, one of those jobs that's not fun because our sheep are quite, they're kind of like wild sheep, they're out in the fields all the time, so they do not like being penned in, so yeah, that's definitely a job that he doesn't, you know, it's not that great, it takes a long time as well because we've got so many. Um, but thank God the weather's good because it would be worse obviously if the weather was really wet. Why don't you want to go swimming? You didn't like it? What scared you? A uh, big water. The big waves, wasn't it? Yeah? The big waves that come and just went crash. We were just um, paddling in the shallow end and then all of a sudden we got like washed out by the pretend waves that they sort of put on. I thought it was quite fun but she freaked out. It was just too much. It was very... You know, they're very big waves. I liked it. Right, reminds me very much of Romsey Rapids, actually. All the gorgeous lodges. Yeah. Someone mowing the grass. Don't know what this thing is, I'm not sure about that. Some sort of wicker. Hey, is that good? We're having lunch. They're nice, got sausage rolls. I'll take milk, Simmy, you. you got milk? I've got tea, Violet. I've got tea. And then, if you eat all your sausage roll, we can have an ice cream, can't we? Violet's got her ice cream. What did you get, Vi? I think we an ice cream. What flavour ice cream? Chocolate. <laughs> and I'll probably have the remainder, because that's a giant ice cream for a little girl, isn't it? Yeah? village, look how cute it is. Oh, that is. Very cute though. That's where we were, Miller's Bakery. Alright. Is that good? Pretty, isn't it? It's a tree house. Oh, oh my goodness. Right. Oh. It's cute, isn't it? In the treehouse, Vi. In the board? Mm hmm. Clever mm. girl, Vi. Oh, this was slightly dodgy. And with an ice cream. Well done, you clever girl. Come on, clever girl. She went down there. It's a bit hot, is it? The sun's been on it, that's why. Is that a fan? It's a bit warm. Is that a fan? That's it. I'm just climbing now. Well done. Hey. Everyone, so it's half past two. Um, we've been in for about an hour. Is there more pepper because we're moving? Um, I might have it. But yeah, we've I just been chilling out, really. I suppose swimming is just generally quite tiring, isn't it? Are you tired? She's still really coldy. <coughs> um, yeah, so we're just waiting for Millie to get back. I couldn't actually book a table. I thought we'd be able to book um, for dinner tonight, but apparently it's just they just don't book. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have to turn up, which will be fine. I think it will be fine, hopefully, because we're going to meet quite early. Um, I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and have a bicky, I think. Sounds good, doesn't it? What are you doing with my phone? So yeah, definitely looking forward to going home tomorrow, but I've got a... I'm actually, obviously, driving home. It's going to be like four-ish hours. Have you changed the settings on that vibe? She's changed the language on that game. I've already arranged to go out with my friends. This We arranged this like two weeks ago to go out for dinner, just the three of us, um, tomorrow night. So I'm just going to be shattered by the time I get home and just sort washing out and stuff. And then it's been my mother's birthday, and it was Mother's Day, and then it was my mum's birthday this week. And obviously I haven't seen her, which I feel bad about, but we've already arranged an afternoon tea um, with my sister, my mum, and my sister-in-law. So we're doing that Saturday. I pick up my new car Saturday as well, which I'm really excited about. I've got to pick that up at 9.30, so really early as well. 
<laughs> Going out Friday night, got to get up super early on the Saturday morning, drag the kids to Kia to get my new car and swap that over. So yeah, it's going to be pretty manic actually. But I'm definitely going to stay here another night because it kind of just makes sense really. I'm only going to be more knackered if I try and travel overnight. I think personally, just for me, I'm not very good at night traveling or evening traveling. I'm just, I'd rather just get it done in the morning because we have to check out at 10 anyway. And um, once everything's, because at the moment, obviously, this place is a bit messy. And once everything's clear, I need to take some pictures as well. Once it kind of looks back to normal. Because <laughs> it's like chaos. You know what it's like when you've got kids. you just like got stuff out everywhere. Um, yeah, but it's been, it's so lovely. This is the sort of place that we would definitely go on holiday. Um, it's just lovely and I was looking at the prices online in, in summer holidays and stuff and like holiday season or holiday times, you know, when kids are off school, it's really expensive or at least it's more expensive than if you book it right now, it's really reasonable and it's actually pretty cheap. But yeah, if you've got kids that are at school, you do have to pay, you always have to pay more anyway, it's like a premium just because they're out of school. But yeah, this place is lovely, I'm really... I think Graham would have loved it here. It's such a shame he couldn't come, but we have got our holiday. We've, I haven't said actually, but we've actually booked our holiday for August, um, which I'm really excited about. Nowhere abroad or anything. We're just going to, around the UK, because that's what we usually do. But I'm looking forward to that. It seems ages away though, like August is such a long time away. But it should be good then. One, so then there were two, just me and Violet left now, Millie and the kids have literally just left about half an hour ago and um, yeah, they've, they're traveling, like I said, they're traveling through the night, it's just better for them generally. So yeah, just me and Vi now, <laughs> me and Vi, we're all PJ'd up and um, yeah, you got a horrible cough, Violet has got a nasty cough, haven't you Vi? Mm. So we're gonna have a hot chocolate. I bought some marshmallows, but they're, they're not that nice actually, these ones are so sweet. Um, but we're gonna have a little hot chocolate to celebrate our night. I did have a glass of wine when we were out. We had a really nice dinner out. I had ham, egg and chips, which is ginormous. Like our meals were just ginormous. Um, but yeah, we had a really nice evening out, you know, just for an hour, hour and a half with the kids. And yeah, I'm looking forward to going home. I'm really ready and yeah, we're gonna have an early night tonight. It's about, I don't even know what time actually. It might be just after seven because the one show's on. So I'm guessing it's after seven. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be in bed by half eight, probably nine latest. But yeah, looking forward to going home and seeing the boys. Everyone, so today is the day we go home, which I'm actually really excited about and I'm not looking forward to the drive, but it should be fine. I'm just about to hop in the shower, I think it's about half past seven, so we're up quite nice and early just to get stuff done. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the rooms because you haven't seen the rooms. They are obviously quite messy now because we've used them, but this is the room me and Vi were staying in. <coughs> and it's just, um, just a twin. We had two twins and a double with an ensuite and then we've got a separate bathroom. I'm just about to hop in the shower if you're wondering what that noise is. That's ours. And then it has like a little wardrobe, it has heaters, which these heaters are really good actually. Keeps the place warm and then you have like the front door. You've got the bathroom. This is the shower, double shower. This is quite nice. And then this is the one that Millie was staying in with the kids, um, with Bryony. And it comes with, equipped with travel cots and it's like a double bed, wardrobe, heater again. And then a really nice big spacious bathroom, which is nice. Um, yeah, so that's where Millie was staying, which is quite nice. And then the other twin is in here where Austin was staying. So yeah, it's basically the same. Got wardrobe. Your views are practically just um, other lodges, really. Yeah, I'm literally just about to hop in the shower. We've had breakfast, and then I need to start packing and putting everything in the car, bringing the car down because the car's in the car park, obviously. So. Yeah, that's the plan for this morning and we'll probably get a move on as soon as possible really. I'm happy just to, we can stay till 10 but I mean, I'm happy just to go and like get ready to go home. Everyone, so we have just packed up and yep, we are officially leaving. Are you excited? Excited to go home? Well, it's munching over banana. <laughs> Giant banana. 
So yeah, we're gonna be, we're on the road again. We'll be very surely on the road again. Um, which, yeah, I can't say I'm looking forward to it. It's five past nine. So bright and early, hopefully, we've missed some of the like, work traffic. Um, so yeah, we just gotta check out and then we'll be on our way home. I feel like I keep saying that, but we will be. <laughs> Pit stop break again. Um, it is time. Eight minutes past twelve. We've practically got about an hour on the sat nav. So yeah, we'll probably get home just after one. Probably at ten, got past one. So yeah, we're doing well. I, I honestly like the last hour. I just thought I'd ra I'd love to just do it, but I need a wee. I've run out of petrol, so I needed to put that in. I just put ten pounds in because obviously this car's going tomorrow. Um, and Violet was getting hungry and she needed a wee. So yeah, we stopped for lunch because starving. Um, we're just at a petrol station, so and then we'll be on our way. I'm so tired, drained, but it, it feels so much quicker coming back. It's always the way. Drags getting there, and then the way back is just just easy. You kind of know your route, so yeah. Although I feel like I've gone a different route, which is weird. Um, but I don't feel like it's it's taking any more time, which is good, I suppose. But Vi's just munching on food. Look, look at the chaos and mess. I've got to tidy this car before it goes tomorrow as well. Run, so I've been home a little while. Um, I've done the school run and I'm just utterly shattered. It's like half three. Um, obviously coming home to like, Graham is so good though. He cleaned the oven. He sorted that utility because Chicky is no longer in the utility. Thank God, because honestly having a chicken in your utility is not the best. Um, yeah, she's outside now. She's fully, practically fully grown nearly. So, and it's warming up as well. So he cleaned, he's just like sorted loads of stuff out. I can't believe he cleaned my oven. Because that was pretty dirty by the way. <laughs> um, I've just been sorting out stuff, just putting stuff back to normal, put a few load of washings on, or just put one load on so far, and just sorting out stuff, just putting stuff away. That's the worst bit, isn't it? It's like putting stuff back, like all toiletries and toys. And um, I had to, Graham did do a uh, Alistair load of washing. He got me loads of flowers as well. Look at these beautiful daffodils. Um, and he got me these ones as well, really pretty, which is really nice, and really sweet. Um, and yeah, the kids are actually outside playing, oh, it was so emotional, like, oh my god, when Alistair saw me, he was like nearly in tears, and I feel slightly guilty when like, you know, he'd feel like that, and I felt really like, oh my god, he was like, I miss you so much, he was just holding me. And um, he saw saw Violet, and was just like, went up to him, and was just like squeezed her so hard, he was just like... Oh, so lovely to see, so lovely. Oh, yeah, so we're all back together now as a one family, which is lovely. Um, but the kids are outside playing because it's just so beautiful. It's like 13 degrees today. It's so hot in the sun. And I'm honestly so shattered. I can't believe, like, I don't know if I've already said, but I already arranged to go out for dinner with two of my mummy friends. This was, like, weeks ago. This holiday thing has, like, been kind of a last minute thing so yeah I didn't realize I'd have to I'd be coming back from Wales on the same night so yeah I've already said I definitely come because we've booked it and I just you know I've kind of I've already arranged it now I feel like I have to do it but I'm so shattered honestly <laughs> my eyes feel like they're closing I think I might have to take my contacts out and put my glasses on just to give my eyes a rest um, I'm going to make myself a coffee as well, but generally the house is really, really tidy and really pleased actually. Because you never really know what you're coming home to, um, especially with Graham as well. He steam mopped the floor and everything. So, oh, I've just sorted out the car as well because obviously that's going tomorrow, so I've just emptied it out totally. It needs a total valet though, it's filthy inside, but they'd do that anyway. I think I'm going to make a coffee, I haven't had a Tassimo. I'm gonna have one of those now. Just like looking around thinking, where's my pretty cups? I couldn't find them. Cause you know, things get like moved around a bit. I usually put everything back in its own place, but Graham, if he doesn't have a clue, he'd just either leave it on the side or just put it back anywhere. But I found my pretty cups. So I'm pleased to have those back now. Coffee, my favorite coffee mugs. Um, I really need to do my eyebrows as well. I just oh, I haven't done them in like two weeks and I really couldn't be bothered before I came away. So, itching to do my eyebrows, so when I get in the shower before I go out, I'm gonna 
whip them off whip them off i'm just going to pluck a few stray hairs basically but they just feel really bushy and my um maybelline brow drama that i use is like um uh kind of like a mascara for the eyebrows it just when your eyebrows at least with me because my eyebrows are naturally quite bushy if they're too bushy like right now it feels like the product gets way too stuck in it it just feels awful it doesn't feel nice and they just feel really hairy <sighs> anyway that's enough about my eyebrows <laughs> there's my boy in his school uniform digging with a a tiny spade <laughs> Graham got his hair cut as well. You never guess what, Graham's actually been giving Alistair's pat lunches for the whole week. And if you're um, like child, like if you're child from the UK, like you, you'll know that they actually get free school dinners. That's why I don't, a lot of people have asked me like, please can you like show Alistair's pat lunches? And it's because he doesn't have pat lunch anymore. We get free school meals at school and it just seems silly not to use it. Um, although I've always um, thought that when warm weather comes around I'll probably end up doing sandwiches because he doesn't necessarily want a hot meal for lunch but through the winter it's kind of perfect but um, because Alistair had his uh, school trip on Wednesday they had to have a pat lunch for that so I told Graham that but he just assumed he had pat lunch for the whole week so he's been making him pat lunch and he's been loving it and he, and he got in the car and he said oh, I've been having pat lunch all week mummy and I really want pat lunch so I might actually be doing in pat lunches now which I don't mind doing honestly it's just like sandwiches and fruit and it's just you know so that could be a new video series coming up if you want to see that um, just ideas of pat lunches but yeah he seems to like that and I think because of the warm weather he is just going off the hot dinners like having a hot dinner twice as well because obviously I do hot dinner so, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing pat lunches, so it should be quite nice. Where's Violet? Oh, they're both there now. <laughs> Back together, which is lovely. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually going to wrap this video up. I'm just utterly sh shattered, to be honest. I need to make the bed, because Graham stripped it, which is really good of him as well. It's been very, very good. Um definitely miss, miss being at home though oh although i haven't missed the housework because there is a few bits that need doing like he's done hoovering actually he's done quite a lot um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this week i know it's been obviously very different and it hasn't been as chatty and stuff just because we've just been busy and getting on with you know our sort of mini holiday which has been really nice i've actually got to do a blog, blog post on it if you want to see like more pictures and stuff i'll link my blog down below and yeah next week we'll be back to normal we'll be back to routine which is something i love anyway so yeah i hope you have a great weekend and i will see you all soon